right, well, you get your hymn books out, and let's do a couple. I'm preaching on the church and the diversity and unity of the gifts and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You kind of run out of songs in our hymn book about church, but there's a couple here we can sing today. Number 433, Rise Up, O Church of God. That's not a denomination. That's God's church, right? And we're all part of God's church as Christians. Amen? Amen. All right, so number 433, Rise Up, O Church of God. It would be hard to stay in your seats if we're singing, Rise Up. All right, so everybody on your feet if you can. Number 433. Church of God, have done with lesser things. Give heart and mind and soul and strength to serve the King of Kings. Rise up, O Church of God, His kingdom carries long. Bring in the up, O Church of God. Let's bow our hearts and our heads together. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a great day and allowing us to get uh, raised up this morning. Thank you for the peace and the quiet of the morning. And thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to worship uh, the one and only God. Thank you for Christ, our Savior. Thank you for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that we get to experience day by day by day. We pray, Lord, as we talk about this, your church, and the church um, worldwide, you would bless us as we preach from your word that we might be more obedient to your spirit. Now bless us in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you. Turn around and say hi to somebody. We have lots of busyness here, lots of things going on. Take a look at the back of your bulletin. Uh, last Sunday, Don and I were able to go spend about four hours up in Xenia. Uh, we went to the mission meeting, and then I stayed for the executive board meeting. Listen to this. The association is looking for a treasurer, a moderator, and possibly a secretary um, for this coming year for the uh, Clinton Baptist Association. If you would be interested in serving, uh, we could use your help. Um, I was uh, kind of surprised to learn from our area minister, um, uh, Mark Click, that about half the associations in Ohio don't even meet. Uh, One of those associations has over $50,000 in a bank account, and they never meet. Uh, To me, that's a waste, right? And we belong to an association. This is the grassroots of where our um, uh, denomination functions. So, if you would be interested, uh, see me and uh, we can talk. Wednesday night, we got choir practice at 6, um, Bible study and prayer time at 7. Uh, I'm going to hold on to Samaritan's Purse because my wonderful sister-in-law is over there going to say something. Uh, Women's Fellowship meets Tuesday at 7 p.m. Yes. Yes. Good, 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 all right? Um, Lynn showed me some razors she bought at Kroger's and it was a good deal. So uh, if you want to bring some things to give to, it's called Bernie's Place, the homeless shelter in South Lebanon. Uh, bring those on Tuesday. All right, good, jo- good job. Um, the mission trip, October the 4th through the 11th, the rummage sale will be, oh my goodness, we're getting there, aren't we? Um, August 9th and 10th, that's a Friday and Saturday. I'm sure that there's help needed to label things and sort things. Tim brought in a pickup truck full of purses. 
Purses. Well, I heard you say purses. Yeah. All right. Okay. All you guys want to be in uh, good grace with your wife, you better be buying some purses. All right. Okay. All right. So, but there is a pile of stuff out there. So, gentlemen, if you have extra three minutes after church, let's carry all that into the fellowship hall. And Tim said they got two more pickup loads at their house. I wonder what they're going to do after this. All right. Uh, basement. I can walk around in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So, uh, if gentlemen, if we can help and bring that stuff in uh, right after our service today, uh, you know what? We got a lunch next week. We might have to bring our chairs and have it outside. Uh, bring bring chairs and bug repellent next week. All right. Um, because we're filling up the fellowship hall, okay? Uh, hey, uh, where there's a will, there's a way, and if we meet, we eat, and uh, we'll eat under the trees maybe, okay? All right, um, the Reds are having a faith day, that's there. The Gaither Vocal Band will be at Tri-County Assembly in September. See Linda Green for more details, but uh, I'm already planning on Lynn and I going and maybe uh, uh, getting Mel and Kent to go with us. Did you know we're going to try to take you? Uh, Kent, doesn't uh, Kent doesn't know that. Okay. Well, d- does Kent know he's paying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, next Sunday, we'll have communion. We have our quarterly business meeting afterwards. Uh, you see my notes there. Uh, chicken will be provided. Bring some sides and d- desserts. I'm sure I, we got pops and stuff out there, I think, already. Nominating committee. Please meet with me after church because we also have to select a moderator. And I understand that we might have a deacon or two that uh, needs to be elected. So lots of good things coming uh, next uh, Sunday. Uh, State Fair. The Rowork's grandchild took fourth place in what category, Harold? Yep. All right. So... They took fourth place at the state fair. I think that's pretty good. All right? Okay. Now, somebody said they got some real good bacon coming, so uh, yeah, stay close to the row works, and you might find yourself getting some breakfast food, okay? Uh, I think that's covered everything. Looking. Yes, Faye? Um, about the Red State Day, that's Sunday. No, Sunday. that's not a Sunday, is it? It should be. It's Monday? Oh, okay. Because Sunday, if you buy a ticket, you can get four to six half price along with it. Okay. Every Sunday. Usually it's on Sunday. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? All right. Then Beth wants to say something about Samaritan's Purse. Say hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Good morning. Just want to talk to you a minute about Samaritan's Purse. First of all, a reminder, it is not till the end of October or 1st of November, so there's still plenty of time. And I've had people say, well, what can we, I I still am confused what to get. Dollar store, these little bags, which are awesome afterwards because the kids, you know, those shoe boxes aren't going to last forever. And these little bags are great. So that's one thing. And I've been a little busy. We get a lot of dolls, so I made a little blanket for the doll. So I know there's some handy people in here that can crochet or knit or sew. So make a little blanket for some little dolls. Uh, I've also been busy making some scarves. We tend to think they're going to be going to hot places, but these go to Russia too. So been making some scarves, bright colors, all ages. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Let me see here. Oh, one more. I think there Beth has been drinking too much coffee. All right. <laughs> all right. Woo! Look and at that. Also made a little purse. Look at that. So there's all kinds of things you can do with fabric, your yarn, or whatever. I also sent, um, I can't remember, I think I've mentioned that each child that get a shoe, gets a shoe box is given an opportunity to take a class. It's a 12-week class. I ordered the book, so anybody who wants to look at the little book that they're given to study, and then when they finish this class, they are all given a New Testament in their language. So I'll leave these back in Steve's office if you want to, because I told Steve he could see him first. But anybody who'd like to take a look at it, just help yourself pick it up and see what they, they're learning. Also, we've got some pages. If you've got some grandkids at home or that come to visit, 
This is called Let's Be Friends, and you, the, the kids color it, the state they live in, the town, or they can write about the town where they live. Then on the back, they tell a little bit about themselves. So I've put some on the back where the bulletins are. So l- pick some up, take them home to your grandkids, and we can put them in the boxes. Just a little something else for the kids to have. So thank you for anything you can do. We are still in need of some toiletries and some school supplies to pack those little boxes. But as I say, we've got plenty of time. So thank you for all you're doing. Oh, one more thing. Uh, it does cost $9 to ship the shoe boxes. And it, if you, the kids, to take these classes, it's an additional six fifty for the children. So if you want, if you don't have time to go shopping or it's just, you know, doesn't happen and you want to make a, a monetary donation, we're, of course, always take money. You know how that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, but appreciate anything you can do this year. Thanks so much. All right. Good deal. <clears throat> I think I could almost make some of those scarves out of um, some leftover hunting coats I have, right? Uh, birthdays. Mel says birthdays. Yeah. I have my hymn book in my hand. Okay. Well, that's that's really inexpensive, isn't it? You can really load up. I did last night, and I'm going back today. Yeah, yeah. I think Beth told the story once before that when a kid got a pencil, then he turned to his parents and said, oh, look, I can go to school now. I mean, one pencil, you know? So sometimes, unless you've gone to some of these countries and you see how kids do live... Um, wow, you don't realize it, you know. So, and especially when you go to Haiti, you find the same thing, right? Okay. All right. Mel is reminding me, evidently, that somebody in the family has a birthday.